All right guys, so the season hasn't started yet because we still got a little bit of snow on the ground and we recently got five inches and it's finally raining and melting and hopefully spring will come soon. But in the meantime, I'm going to be doing a video on my equipment setup. And no, this is not lawn mowing equipment, this is video equipment. I'm gonna show you everything that I use because a lot of you have been asking me what I use to record my videos and what do I use to edit my videos and all that. So I'm gonna show you that right now. So here it is, everything that I use for recording videos. Now, I don't use all of this at all times, but majority of it I do use. Now, you don't need to own all of this stuff in order to record videos and upload them to social media. I'm gonna show you what I started out with. I started out with a phone, a cheap tripod, and a free editing app which I'll show you at the end and I'll show you what that app is and how much it costs and all that. But I used a free version of that app, set my phone up and recorded videos on a cheap tripod with my phone and did all the editing on my phone and uploaded them to YouTube. And that's what you saw in all of my previous videos, but I have upgraded a bit and I'll show you exactly what I am uh, using currently. I'm gonna get my phone, this phone that I'm recording with on this tripod and get mic'd up so you can hear me a little bit clear using one of those mics. I'll use the cheap one. So this one I got off Amazon. I guess this is the first item I'll review. It's a cheap little uh, microphone that you can plug into your phone, whether that be with a 3.5 millimeter jack or a conversion to a USB type C. But I'm gonna mic myself up and you'll hear me a little bit better. We're starting off on the left side here. We will start with the phone. Now this is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. I have been using this to record some of my videos, but I had an older phone. It was the S10 Plus that I used to record videos. Now this phone is capable of recording 4K 60 frame per second videos. That's the very smooth uh, type of videos. And then if you can, if you want to have a smaller sized file, you can do full HD and it will give you 30 frames per second. So there's a few options on this phone. You can also go to 0.5X, which is kind of like your GoPro style camera, just super wide. It uh, catches a lot more, um, a lot wider video. So that's really cool. But hey, a phone, that's all you need to record videos. You don't need the highest grade camera. You don't need a two, $3,000 camera. You just get a phone. I know phones can get expensive nowadays, but I uh, had an S10 Plus. You can pick them up for, I believe, two, $300 brand new. And so again, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on a camcorder. You can just buy a good phone. You can use the phone that you're currently using if it has a good camera. Another thing I uh, invested in was a battery case. Now, in the summertime, it does get hot, so it's not best to run um, a battery case while you are recording videos, but it's nice to have, you know, when it's like 70, 80 out, you can run a battery case and have your phone charging while you're recording videos because when you record videos, it does drain your battery life on your phone, so you might need to invest in a battery case. Of course, you got your portable hard drives. This is to store all your old video files, all of your recorded videos. You will need to pick up some hard drives. I did. So that way you have access to all of your video files. So you don't lose them. But again, you do upload them onto social media, but you never know, you know, social media accounts, they might remove your accounts and then you lose all of your videos. So it's nice to have them saved. You need some, you know, cables and I hold everything excluding the um, computer and that uh, power station, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, everything else I have stored inside of that backpack. It's just a regular backpack, nothing fancy to it. But I have all these cables. It's nice to have different types because you never know which one you'll need. You'll need some short ones, some long ones, micro SD, micro USB, you know, different style connections, USB, Type C, all those. Um, some you know, dongles, uh, one with ports, one with uh, where you can fit a micro SD just in case. It's nice to have all of this inside of a backpack. Um, some batteries, 
more cables. Uh, this is more of like a USB type C uh, right angle to a straight. So I just recently picked these up for 10 bucks on Amazon. Pretty nice. I also have a, a Galaxy Tab Ultra. Now I picked this up um, last year. And the reason why I picked it up is because it's a Galaxy Samsung Galaxy tablet that has a um, operating software called Dex, which will turn your tablet into kind of like, sort of like a computer. And I connected a wireless mouse to it. Um, so that way I can, you know, run my power director. And this is the software that I use. It's called power director. And I use this to uh, edit all of my videos. So it's called power director the software, look it up. There is a paid version and there's a free version. You do get some benefits of using the paid version. You can export in 4K and save um, at a higher frame per second rate. And you don't get that watermark if you do get the paid version, but with the free one, you do get a watermark and all that. So um, sometimes it's best to get the paid one, but Samsung Galaxy S8 Ultra, it's the tablet and I did get the keyboard accessory with it. So that's what I use to edit my videos. And the cool thing is, since this is Samsung and my phone is a Samsung, they have a thing called Smart Switch. Now what I do is I record on my phone and then I use Smart Switch, which is both on my phone and my tablet, and I can transfer all of my videos that I shot with this phone and um, send them directly to my computer and then edit those videos from my computer or tablet. So I need to stop calling it computer because it's a tablet. <laughs> but that's a cool thing. That's how I transfer my files. It's super streamlined, super easy, and it's honestly has saved me a lot of time. Uh, more cables. This is just a USB type C. Everything seems like it's USB type C nowadays, especially with, uh, with your Android users. All your iPhone users still use those lightning cables. But I got various types, you know, two angled ones. Um, let's go on to, let's, let's finish this off before we go on to the GoPros. I recently got this. Now this is a cinema video rig made by Ulanzi and you can fit your phone in here. I want to just test it out. Um, I don't know how often I will use this rig, but you set your phone inside here and now you have a nice little cinema rig where you can, you know, record videos without having to shake your phone. It's kind of state. It's not a stabilizer, but it does improve your stability when you're holding the phone with those two handles. So pretty cool little rig. Um, and it also has cold shoe mounts on the top and a place where you can screw it into a tripod. So you can have this on a tripod and it protects your phone a little bit. It's made out of metal. So it does protect your phone from like rocks or anything like that. So it's pretty nice. And if your phone ever falls, the case is going to get damaged first, or this rig is going to get damaged before your phone does. So pretty nice little cage protector. You can also take the handles off if you want. Uh, this is, this will go, this is more of a tripod accessory. So you can fit your phone mount here on the left side, and then your, you got three cold shoe uh, mounts where you can mount a microphone, a light, and external mic if you need to, or whatever other accessory you got. So made by Lonzi, part number PT-3. And everything that you see, I'll probably have linked in the description down below. So you guys, um, if you want a specific item and specifically need um, something that you wanna buy, um, I'll have a link in the description down below. So let's continue. I have a box light. Now this I seldom use, um, not really in the lawn care industry, but mainly when I do like vlogging or anything, it's super bright light. Um, as you can see, it's pretty bright and it's only at 85. You can also change um, the uh, lumen, the color of the light. You can make it warmer, you can make it cooler. As you can see, we can go up to 55K. We can drop it down to, I think, let's see, 30, 31K. So as you can see, the light got more yellow. I put a filter, it comes with a little uh, filter screen to soften the light up a bit, but pretty nice, pretty nice light. Tells you exactly how much um, battery life you got. And of course, the lower you go on the um, output, the more battery life you get. As you can see, the lower I go, the more battery life increases and gives you a little battery indicator as well. So hold the power button to turn it off 
And again, I don't use this all the time, but mainly when I do like some vlogging or if I'm recording at night, yes I do, use the light, comes in handy. Uh, micro SD, uh, definitely if you still have storage capacities on your phone, you want to get the highest gigabyte, maybe even if your phone does take like 128 gigabyte, 256 gigabyte, you add one of these to your phone to increase your capacity on your video files. So you can record more videos on your phone. A little uh, a converter here from USB to USB type C. Some microphones. So I got the Rode mic. Uh, this is the um, Video Go, a smaller mic, or Video Micro, sorry. This is a smaller mic, got a cattail on it. You can remove the cattail and record it this way. You only use this for wind noise reduction. But I have a conversion here from a TRS to a TRRS cable, and this will convert a 3.5 millimeter jack to a USB Type-C, but I can use this on my microphone. Also have a Rode Mic Pro, Video Mic Pro. This is the one where you can make adjustments on the back side. You have a battery in here that can actively um, uh, decrease some of the low passing noises and then you can change the decimal points um, directly on the microphone so pretty cool mic but i do not use microphones unless again i'm doing a more of like a vlog style video this is a quick jump starter power bank i keep this in my backpack just in case i need to recharge my phone um, i have a nice power bank oh and i don't have like access to my truck or whatever which usually is not the case but if i'm ever out in like a meeting um, if I ever am out in like an exposition center where there's not a outlet plug, I have a nice um, jump starter power bank in order to charge up my tablet or my phone. So pretty cool. And also to jump start my truck. <laughs> um, this and this are basically the same thing. These are grip power banks. Now, the cool thing is they have a quarter inch screws on the top and bottom, male, female. And you can't, I mean, you could screw these on together, but you can more, uh, get a phone mount and mount it up here. And now you can connect your phone to this power bank and charge your phone or GoPro while you are using it as, and it, 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 as, as like a grip. And you can, with this model, you have uh, a little mini tripod, so you can set this up have your phone charging and recording and also um, using it as a stand. So and what I mean by that is, I mean, let's say you have this um, Andobil phone mount. You can screw this on directly to the power bank grip. And it's pretty cool. I mean, you get your phone. Let me get my phone here, show you an example. I recently got this, so I'm super excited to use them. There you go. Now you got a little stand, you can record your videos, and you get a little cable, connect it from your phone to the Ulanzi um, BG-3, I believe this is, uh, yeah. And uh, have your phone charging while you are recording. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So that's just, though. that's what these are, and I bought two of them. One's not as powerful as the other, and also this one has a rubber grip and this one doesn't. But bought both, because you never know when you'll need both. Moving on down, you need a, a good amount of phone mounts. Now, if you are using your phone, you will need a few phone mounts because some of the uh, cheaper ones break. This is a metal one by Ulanzi, and this one will probably never break on me. I've had some plastic ones snap. My phone has fallen a few times and the mounts just break and they don't hold up, especially the plastic ones. So it's nice to invest into some metal phone mounts and you mount these directly to a tripod. Speaking of tripods, we have this one. Now I'll have a link, I don't know the name specifically, but it's telescoping, or telescoping. you got your um, triple legs that lock in place and you can set it down like this. And then this one will reach up to, I believe six feet, it'll go up to six feet. Now it does become unstabilized when it's super high up. So you gotta be careful that your phone or whatever you are mounting to it, your GoPro, doesn't fall off. I also have a Ulanzi phone mount. This is the best phone mount that I've ever bought. It's made out of metal. As you can see, you can adjust it. So here's your phone. Your phone will go in 
like so, and it's going to hold your phone, then you can mount it to a tripod like that. The nice thing about this is it's got a cold shoe mount on the back and on the top. So if I ever need to run a light and a microphone, I have two here, two here. And when you run it vertically, so if you bring it up and run it vertically, you have access to another cold shoe mount. So one, two, and three. Really nice. I don't know if they make these anymore, these Ulanzi ST-27s, but one of the best cold shoe mount, or I'm sorry, phone mounts that I've ever purchased. And this one has not broken on me. I've had this for about a year now and it has not given up its purpose yet. So really nice. Pairs nice with this little telescoping uh, tripod. So but this one's a cheap one, cheap tripod, it's all plastic. So you gotta be careful with the tripods too. You wanna always have one that's made out of metal. Now this one is made out of aluminum. This is more on the higher end, $100 tripods. I got this one from Best Buy. You can get these off Amazon, different brands make the same style. And I know there's tripods out there that are two, $300. So if you know of a really good tripod, please leave your comments. Uh, please leave your suggestions in the comments down below. But this one you can change, you can bring this up, down. All made out of metal, good rubber grips on the adjustment rings here. You can make plenty of adjustments here. You can bring this up and down. I also have a Joby phone mount. Now this, these Joby phone mounts are pretty expensive as well and they seem to do well, but they are not, oops, but they are not metal. They are for the most part plastic, but they're hardened plastic. They got rubber stoppers on the back. And again, if you start doing video recording with your phone, you will understand the importance of really co good quality phone mounts. So this Joby one's pretty good. I really like the Ulanzi, but I don't know if they make them anymore. But once you get a good one, stick with it, okay? So you can make adjustments here. You can unscrew this. If your phone's pretty big, you can bring this plate back, extend the plate, bring it down, um, close it, make your adjustments, whatever, and you're ready to go. So also this one spins um, to shoot vertical videos if you need to. So that's pretty nice. But I, will, I like this one. I'll have a link in the description down below for you. So moving on down. Almost done. Thank you for hanging in. I didn't know this video was going to be this long, but still going. GoPro. Recently picked up a GoPro, and I'll be honest with you, I don't use it as much as I intended to use it. I got the um, GoPro Hero 10. It's got a rubber casing on it, and it's it's great for what it is. I mean, I still, I still use it on occasion, um, but I don't use it more than I use my phone. So you might be the opposite. You might like, instead of, hello, <laughs> you might like to use, uh, you know, your GoPro instead of a phone like I am using. Uh, there's my uh, brand new phone, S23 Ultra, by the way. That's pretty cool. I can show you real quick. That's what I'll be using for all my lawn care videos for 2023 and on. So, but you might like to use GoPros. Maybe you're used to GoPros and uh, you just you just enjoy the accessories that come with them. You know, you got your media mod kit, uh, you have a lens protector, you have your clips that can be mounted magnetically and with the rubber cl uh, clip there. You have all these accessories that come with it. So maybe for you, it's best to go with GoPro. Maybe you've been just using GoPros all of your life. Or maybe you like to use GoPros because a lot of other people use GoPros. It's up to you. Maybe you like the angle of the lens. I don't know. Maybe you like the stability. That's the nice thing about GoPros is if you are um, if you are mounting this to a shaky object, well, GoPros have stability features, so you will get crystal clear footage that's not shaky because of the stabilization, while with the phone, you will not get that. So phone is more for a stationary camera, while a GoPro, you can mount it to yourself and to any other objects that move. Um, batteries, you definitely need some batteries if you're doing a lot of GoPro recording footage. A case with a bunch of cables, um, and then mounts. So you need mounts, and I'd, I'd recommend some good ones. Get uh, the GoPro OEM mounts. They seem to hold up better than the plastic cheap um, aftermarket ones. 
However, I do have a chest mount that's not GoPro and it has held up quite well. So I guess depending on which one you get, it all depends on the quality of the plastic. These are the Enduro batteries. They last a little bit longer than your regular blue ones. So the white ones will be a little bit better. Um, so that's basically my GoPro. I have everything that you see here, excluding the chest mount, I am able to fit in the GoPro case. So this case contains my camera and everything that I need and it goes directly into my backpack. So when I do need my GoPro, when I feel like recording with the GoPro, I bust it out, throw on the chest mount, throw maybe a clamp on the mower and record some GoPro footage of my machines and how I work. So moving on down to the uh, other things. All right, a few things left. We got the Rode Wireless Goes. Now this is the first generation. There is a second one where you can connect to. This I primarily use on my second channel when I'm mainly doing maybe like an interview or showing someone's trailer. Um, Phil's Lawn Care Plus, this is what you see. This is my second channel. This, the video is gonna be on here. Um, but you know, on my main channel, I hardly ever use these because my phone picks up uh, the good amount of sound. The, the sound that I need, it picks up, so I don't need like a uh, external mic really to pick up the sound of my machines. But I use these again for interviews or for, uh, you know, if I'm ever going to need to mic myself up, I use the, the good quality lav mic. This is the one made by Rode. This is the $80, I believe it's $80, $70, $80. This is the lav go. And so you can connect this to your, um, instead of using this whole you know, square piece, you can connect a lav mic to it and run this up to your uh, collar and connect it, clip it onto your collar, a little carrying case with it. Um, this is a TRS to TRS cable. If you are using an external mic with like a Canon or a Nikon, this is the cable that you need. It comes with it, I don't ever use it. Um, some cattails, little foams, so that way if you're recording in windy conditions, um, you'll be good to go with those cattails. Now this is a ZG Sign. This is a wireless um, charging box for the Rode mics. This is not Rode um, brand. This is just a regular Chinese brand, but as you can see, you have your receivers, your TX and your RX that can be connected. And this works for the first and second generation. And you can recharge this box, basically like a power source for your Rode mics. Uh, we also have a, a, G, a DJI Ohm 4. This is a video stabilizer. Now, I did say you can't stabilize with your phone. Well, you can if you have a gimbal. Now this will, if you turn it on and you have your phone mounted, it will stabilize your phone. Now, of course, I don't have a phone on it, so it's not gonna work properly. It's gonna uh, twitch out on me, but uh, when I do have my phone mounted, here, let me let me do it. I'll do it for you guys on camera. So if you don't have, if you have never seen a gimbal or a video stabilizer, I'll show you now. So, as you can see, the phone is not stabilized at all. All right, it's going left, right, it's just going all over. So if I turn it on, does some minor adjustments and it's ready to go. Let me bring the camera up a bit. Now the cool thing about this is it's right now recording vertically, right? So if I want to switch to horizontal, click the button twice and it switches to horizontal. So now let me bring the camera up. Now if I want to record more stabilized video with my phone and not my GoPro, I have a good gimbal stabilizer that will record videos very smoothly. So a lot of features, you can bring it up, you can bring the phone down with this knob here, you can bring it left, you can bring it right. Pretty cool gimbal. This is the fourth one and I believe they already have a fifth and sixth one. So hey, older generations still work and the cool thing about it is it's got a tripod uh, mount. So it's got the feet on the, on the bottom side so you can use this to, you know, record and also um, you know, use it as a uh, phone mount in order to record. Say you forgot it at home or something, you can put this on the ground, do your videos, or put this on the table, do your videos, and you're good to go. You don't have to have a phone tripod. So that's that. And the last but not least, 
I always keep this in the truck. This is the Bullbat power, little uh, power supply box. And I use this primarily to recharge my GoPro batteries if I'm ever using my GoPros or my phone. Um, I have many other options of recharging my other, you know, my phone, my laptop and all that. But um, I keep this all the time in my truck because you never know when you might run out of juice. So with today's technology, everything needs to be recharged, your batteries. Uh, it's nice to have a little power box in your vehicle in order to recharge all of your electronics. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed my review on all of my pieces of video and audio equipment. I didn't think that video was going to be that long, but hey, we are gearing up towards the season. I got my mowers here, my Raptor that you guys have seen, but um, and all my other equipment's just on the shelves. So I got something big planned. I have trailer list set up. Got some videos that are going to be coming out soon. As soon as the snow melts and the rain stops, we're going to be installing a trailerless setup on my truck. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope some questions were answered on as far as what equipment I use for video and audio and what software I use. Again, it's PowerDirector. Check it out. It's free to download, but there are some paid um, you know, things that you can um, pay for in order to unlock some features. So Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions at all, pre please leave your questions in the comments down below about any of the equipment that I showed you. Again, I'll try to have in the description box the every piece of equipment that you have seen in the video today. I'll try to have that in the description box. So I appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. This has been Phil with Phil's Lawn Care, Phil's Lawn Care Plus, whatever channel you watch. Appreciate all of your support on both. Again, thank you so much. Take care. God bless you. And we will see you in the next one.